Angela Ramsey, joined by Kendall and Colton today. Welcome to the Ingalls Table. Today we're using some unexpected ingredients to make a cozy, sweet favorite. You've heard of blondies, right? Well today, thanks to Ingalls, we're making chickpea blondies and they're amazing. So to get started, we're going to add one can of chickpeas that are rinsed and drained to our food processor. We've already rinsed these and drained out the liquid. We'll start adding those to the food processor. The kids love when we make blondies at the house, right? You can it. Oh, you like the eating part? All right, so we have the chickpea blondies. Before we mix it, we're gonna add all the ingredients first. Next is what? What do we need? What's one of the most all important? Mm -hmm. These blondies have a secret protein punch. The almond butter and also the chickpeas adds a lot of extra protein. Disguised in a sweet treat, right? It's a healthy sweet treat. Here we go. So smell the almond butter. Do you like that spoon? <laughs> that almond butter smells good. Okay, so next we're gonna add a third cup of maple syrup to the recipe. You can also use honey if you're not vegan, you can use honey, but today we're gonna use maple syrup. Harvest Farms has maple syrup, a great brand maple Mom, syrup. Can I please cut it in? Yes, you can, and honey in their Harvest Farms organic section. That's the brand that we use. Don't we? There we go, this is what's gonna make it sweet. Go ahead and add that to the food processor. Just pour it in. Good job, Kendall. It smells good. All right, so there's the maple syrup. Colton, do you wanna do the vanilla? Yep. This is, smells really good too, smell it. I like to smell it before we put it in, right? Colton's gonna add the vanilla. This is an easy recipe, because you just add everything in one giant pot here in this cup. Next is the salt. Here you go. We can eat it when it's out of the can oven. I pour it in? It's hard to weigh, isn't it? Can I pour sure. There goes the salt. That's okay. We got it. Get okay, stuck sometimes. Pour. Yeah, there's oh, the salt. Pour. You want to do the baking powder? We've got baking powder and baking soda. You be the soda, yeah. and you be the powder. Both are important. All right. Go ahead and then tap, tap the bottom. There we go. All right, so we have our baking soda and our baking powder and our salt. And I think that's all we need for now. Hold on just a minute. Let's make sure we get this all the way closed. And Kendall, you can go ahead and press that middle button and we're gonna mix it up. Watch it. There we go. Okay, we're gonna stop that here. Look how beautiful that turned out. You just wanna mix till it's nice and creamy. I'm gonna pop the top off here. And now we can add our chocolate chips. Just add those chocolate chips in. And we're gonna reserve just a few of these chocolate chips until the very end here. Might need to take just a few out and we'll save those for the end. You can have one. Give one to your brother. We'll, we have to taste test around here, you know. One to your brother and then wait for the rest. It's hard to wait. And something so creamy and delicious, isn't it? We like to use dark chocolate. That's true. Because I, it has dark. less sugar, you know? That's right. We try not to get too much sugar, even with our sweet treats. And so they're exactly right. If you want to use dark chocolate chips instead of your regular milk chocolate, just make sure they're vegan. And Ingles has a great non-dairy vegan chocolate chip brand. Um, and the dark chocolate does have less sugar. So you can, you can make it a little bit more healthy just by that one simple change as well. So we're going to mix all this up and we're gonna add it to a pan. Okay, so we have that batter all creamy from the food processor. Colton, do you mind to hold that parchment paper down for me? There we go. We just take an eight by eight pan, and I use parchment paper because it makes for a really easy clean. Yeah, it makes it for a really easy cleanup. When it's done, you can just take that paper out and throw it in the trash. Okay, so we're, we're spreading the batter out. Okay, 
Just spread it out evenly in the pan. Hi, please. And then the remaining chocolate chips, yeah, go ahead and spread it out there. You want to spread it to the corner. The remaining chocolate chips that we had left over, we're just going to sprinkle on the top. There's plenty in the batter, but this makes it look really pretty on the top when it comes out of the oven. Great job. Yeah, you can sprinkle a few. Colton, do you want to sprinkle some chocolate chips on the top there? Ooh, make it look pretty. Okay, so after we finish sprinkling the top, we're gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes until the edges look slightly brown. Um, the, t the middle might look a little doughy, but you wanna go ahead and take it out and let it set on a wire rack. You just don't wanna get it overdone. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven and we'll be back. Okay, we just got this out of the oven. It's nice and warm. We can smell that good smell now. And what we do at the very end to put a finishing touch on, get some coarse sea salt and sprinkle over the top. Yep, itty bitty. You don't want to overdo it now on the salt, but just enough to bring out that sweet flavor. Um, and then after that's all done, you want to cut this into squares, let it cool, and you're ready to enjoy. Sometimes we'll use a vegan um, ice cream on the top and maybe even drizzle some chocolate syrup. Thanks so much for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Let's go Make sure in. We are going to dig in. Make sure to explore the rest of the sites for what, Kendall? Little tips, tricks, and recipes. Bye, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.